Good evening, everyone. My name is Jesse. I'm going to be your moderator tonight. Welcome to Trees in Dallas for the Deftones Internet House Party 2.0 to celebrate the release of the brand new album, which came out today. It is Diamond Eyes. Buy it, live it, love it, learn it. We are here with the gentlemen of the Deftones. Welcome back to Dallas, guys. Welcome to the Internet. All right. What's up? How excited are you for this? This is the second one that you've done. You did one back, what, 10 years ago for the release of White Pony. What, what inspired you to recreate the legacy of that, of that house party? It's, it's good to be able to reach so many people at once, and we have the technology to do it. We, I mean, uh, we actually were one of the first bands to actually do, to do a live you know, broadcast of, of, a, of a show, um, and it was awesome, and it's been a while, like you said, 10 years, and we're ready to do it again play our record and be fun. Well, it's crazy how technology has changed because back in the day, the internet was kind of in the tricycle stage and now it's grown by leaps and bounds and the industry has changed so much. How are you guys gonna approach this event tonight? Hopefully it'll be a little less pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna play and have fun, you know? Now, Futura is a legendary artist and he had worked with The Clash on Combat Rock. How did your collaboration with his son uh, end up happening? Frank? I think uh, it was management who came to us with his art and stuff. And 13th all, Witness? Yeah, and we all vibed on it. Uh, and uh, it just worked out really good. We, we got along really well, and it was, it's great to work with uh, young, talented people like that. You know what I mean? Well, there's a lot of really wonderful energy on this new album, and I wondered, Nick Raskulenix is a legend, and Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters said we would have been screwed without him. Neil Peart from Rush said that he uh, took, them, took him to the very edge of his talent, and he, I wonder, what did he bring to the table for you guys? Oh. Oh. Hey, the man behind the mirror. being a smart ass over there. Yeah. You know what, Nick is a bad, bad mofo. Um, mm -hmm. He just became a dear friend. He really, really, uh, he's, I mean, it sounds to say and, and all this, but it's really like, he's just one of us, man. He's, he's our age, um, he's very similar. He's a rocker. He just loves to um, have fun and have good times, but he really just brought us around and uh, made us uh, just, I don't know, man, just made us do what we do and made it a breeze, you know? He just mm -hmm. brought us, reeled us, wrangled us in, and it was great, so. Now, how is Chi doing? She's doing, uh, he's doing, he's doing better each day. He's uh, making very, very slow progress, but uh, he's in a, what they call a minimally conscious state. Um, but he's, uh, he's taking it day by day, man. And, um, you know, he's at home now, which is a, a really, really good thing. Way better than being at a, in a, in a nasty hospital, you know. So his mom and his sister are taking care of him. And uh, he's slowly, slowly um, doing his thing, you know. But he, we, uh, Chino and I went and visited him around um, Easter. Yeah, around Easter weekend, I think. And, and I... He, he looks like he's 20, man. He looks, he looks the best he's looked in the longest time. And it's just, uh, these, each, each um, of these particular cases are different. And it, it's, right. um, you know, so it's a, he's there. And we're just, we're, you know, I love my boy. Now, fans can get continuous updates by going to oneloveforchi.com. Yep. Awesome. Now, we've got a number of fans who are online here who had some questions for you. And the first one is from Bloody Deaf. And he wanted to know, at the Chi Benefit shows, what was your guy's favorite song to do with the guests that you had on both nights? Hold up. Let me go over here real quick. Hey. Um, I, I like the suicidal track the most. Suicidal? That was my highlight. I really had a great time with that one. He, you, he hides behind a tree at trees. And Abe, what was your highlight? Um, I liked, uh, the battery was pretty tight because um, I was able to actually step off the drums and they had Mr. Dave Lombardo come and play a, play a uh, battery by Metallica and I, I got to be a, a, a giddy boy on the side, just shaking my legs and having a blast. So, that's me. And Frank? Um, no Ordinary Love, I think was really cool. Mm -hmm. Bobo joined us, I think, and yeah. We, we don't play that too much, so it was, it was good uh, revisiting. And Sergio? Hmm. Hmm. Head up. Head up? For sure, yeah. Because that just brought it all together for me. And everyone came out, and everyone just started doing it, and it was a good time, and it really is something that reminds me of Chang. And uh, it was just a good rendition and a good way to encapsulate everything. And Chino, what was your highlight? Uh, I like doing the system stuff. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun for me, just because... Uh, for one, I just, I heard those songs a million times, but I never really paid attention to the words or whatever. So I had to learn them. And uh, I did mess up a little bit, but it was fun because I was like, the, it was the two songs that I felt most unsure about. 
singing someone else's stuff and uh and it just was fun like once those guys got up there the rest of the system dudes and it was a good time now um big worm wanted to know what song off of diamond eyes do you guys like to play the most so far first of all his name is big worm big worm but that's with a u not what up, an big o worm, worm. all right what was favorite the song about favorite diamond song eyes? off the new album that this, you like to play live play live um it differs uh, every day i mean we're about to play everything off it but uh um, right now, I like doing sex tape. I like doing that song. It's sonically, it's uh, it's really big. Even though you know, there's not much. It's not the, the most aggressive track. It's it's a. Uh, it sounds really big to me. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse O wanted to know that she just saw that you guys are going to be playing with Alice in Chains and Mastodon, and they're wondering if you're planning on any live collaborations with either band while you're on stage. And go. Well, I don't know. You know what? Um, that, that is yet to, to uh, be sussed out. But you know what? Over a, a month or so time, you never know what can happen. And uh, why not? Uh, now, Rocket Billy wants to know that a band that has been around as long as you guys, sometimes bands retire songs. What song would you, would you consider retiring and what song would you never retire? Spin the mic. Um, you know. I could eat, I mean, I don't want to make people mad, but seven words. <laughs> um, just, you know, I wrote that thing when I was 16, 15 or 16 years old. And uh, I can still, I still have love for it deeply inside. I do. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of the ones that if we don't play it some nights, I'm okay. Now, Hot Carling wants to know, uh, I noticed on adrenaline around the fur and saturday night wrist that you have a dandelion on the actual cd why is that and why not for all of the records we messed up we planned on doing it actually white pony was the first record we didn't do it and uh and that was because with the whole aesthetic of the record frank maddox came in who's our art director um, on that record and uh and all our records since then and he uh frank fault. yeah it's frank maddox's fault which is blame him but uh but, but uh we did go back to it, I think, for a couple of records, and then, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like, I feel like it's kind of a, a cool thing if we do it every now and then. If everyone was like it, it would just be expected. I think that was what, at the time, we just, we knew it'd be expected, so we wanted to do something different. Now, this question is for Sergio. It is from Jimmy456. He wants to know, what is your favorite Deftone song to play? <laughs> right now, um, it would have to be uh, My Own Summer, because, Something happens, yeah, huh? I found my inner voice, and I get to, and we get to play that. And something about playing that song just makes everything go white for a second. And I, because it just, that's what happens. <laughs> and that's it, my own summer. Now, Demona Def wants to know, what is the one band that you would love to tour with that you haven't had an opportunity to yet? Is there one definitive band that you wish that you could perform with or tour with? Radiohead. Radiohead? Yes, Radiohead. He's hiding back there behind the tree at trees. I always thought it would have been cool to tour with Faith No More. That would, that would have been really cool. Oh, man. I'm going to have to pass this mic. I have no answer. And once again, we're going to pass this mic. I have no answer either. I, like, I just like playing, man. I don't care who we play with, man. It's going to be banging. <laughs> we have one final question from your fans before you guys are going to take the stage and do your new album front to back. So, Ricker... Ricker Rock wants to know, do you have any plans of a live DVD from all of the years of touring, live album, or a documentary, or perhaps Deftones, the Broadway musical? Damn. You know what, we have a, uh, yeah, no. I, I, it, one day it'd be great, but I mean, I don't think we've ever filmed anything over all these years. He's holding on a bunch of shit. Steph's got something? Steph, yeah. Steph was the first one to, to, to start using technology. So he had like cameras back when we didn't have you know, and he, he does have a lot. He's sitting on a lot of eight millimeter uh, cassettes. Yeah, cassettes. Eight of max. So we'll see. I don't know. I'd like to see that stuff. I mean, you know, good times, good years. Well, what the fans really want is to hear your album. So I think you should do it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Trees in Dallas. Let's hear it for the Deftones as they play Diamond Eyes. <laughs> 